Surah Al-Anam is the sixth letter in the Quran. Named Al-Anam because in it the word Anam is mentioned which means cattle. This letter also discusses the relationship between the customs of the polytheists. For polytheists, livestock can be used as animal offerings to draw closer to Allah. Apart from discussing livestock, Surah Al-Anam also explains the ten wills of Allah that must be fulfilled by every Muslim or Muslim woman. Israel did the translation of the Quran, Surah Al-Anam, the cattle. 6. Surah Al-Anam, the cattle, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. 6. 1. All praises and thanks be to Allah, who, alone, created the heavens and the earth, and originated the darkness and the light, yet those who disbelieve hold others as equal with their Lord. 6. 2. He it is who has created you from clay, and then has decreed a stated term, for you to die. And there is with him another determined term, for you to be resurrected, yet you doubt, in the resurrection. 6. 3. And he is Allah, to be worshipped alone, in the heavens and on the earth, he knows what you conceal and what you reveal, and he knows what you earn, good or bad. 6. 4. And never an ayah, sign, comes to them from the ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., of their Lord, but that they have been turning away from it. 6. 5. Indeed, they rejected the truth, the Quran and Muhammad shalalahu alaihi wasalam, when it came to them, but there will come to them the news of that, the torment, which they used to mock at. 6. 6. Have they not seen how many a generation before them we have destroyed, whom we had established on the earth such as we have not established you? And we poured out on them rain from the sky in abundance, and made the rivers flow under them. Yet we destroyed them for their sins, and created after them other generations. 6. 7. And even if we had sent down unto you, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, a message written on paper so that they could touch it with their hands, the disbelievers would have said, This is nothing but obvious magic. 6. 8. And they say, Why has not an angel been sent down to him? Had we sent down an angel, the matter would have been judged at once, and no respite would be granted to them. 6. 9. And had we appointed him an angel, we indeed would have made him a man, and we would have certainly caused them confusion in a matter which they have already covered with confusion i.e. the message of Prophet Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasalam. 6. 10. And indeed, many, messengers were mocked before you, but their scoffers were surrounded by the very thing that they used to mock at. 6. 11. Say, O Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasalam, travel in the land and see what was the end of those who rejected truth. 6. 12. Say, O Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasalam, to whom belongs all that is in the heavens and the earth, say, to Allah, he has prescribed mercy for himself. Indeed he will gather you together on the day of resurrection, about which there is no doubt. Those who destroy themselves will not believe, in Allah as being the only Elah, God, and Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasalam as being one of his messengers, and in resurrection, etc. 6. 13 and to him belongs whatsoever exists in the night and the day, and he is the all-hearing, the all-knowing. 6. 14. Say, O Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasalam, shall I take as a wali, helper, protector, etc., any other than Allah, the creator of the heavens and the earth? And it is he who feeds but is not fed. Say, verily, I am commanded to be the first of those who submit themselves to Allah, as Muslims, and be not you, O Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasalam, of the mushrikun, polytheists, pagans, idolaters and disbelievers in the oneness of Allah. 6. 15. Say, I fear, if I disobey my Lord, the torment of a mighty day. 6. 16. Who is averted from, such a torment, on that day, Allah, has surely been merciful to him, and that would be the obvious success. 6. 17. And if Allah touches you with harm, none can remove it, but he, and if he touches you with good, then he is able to do all things. 6. 18. 
and he is the irresistible, above his slaves, and he is the all-wise, well acquainted with all things. 6, 19, say, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, what thing is the most great in witness? Say, Allah, the most great, is witness between me and you. This Quran has been revealed to me that I may therewith warn you and whomsoever it may reach. Can you verily bear witness that besides Allah, there are other Aliha? Gods, say, I bear no, such, witness. Say, but in truth he, Allah, is the only one Elah, God. And truly I am innocent of what you join in worship with him. 6, 20, those to whom we have given the scripture, Jews and Christians, recognize him, i.e. Muhammad shalallahu alaihi wasalam as a messenger of Allah. And they also know that there is no Elah, God, but Allah and Islam is Allah's religion, as they recognize their own sons. Those who destroy themselves will not believe. Tafsir at Tabari. 6, 21. And who does more wrong than he who invents a lie against Allah or rejects his ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, revelations, etc. Verily, the Zalimun, polytheists and wrongdoers, etc shall never be successful. 6, 22, and on the day when we shall gather them all together, we shall say to those who joined partners in worship, with us, where are your partners, false deities, whom you used to assert, as partners in worship with Allah. 6, 23, there will then be, left, no fitna, excuses or statements or arguments, for them but to say, by Allah, our Lord, we were not those who joined others in worship with Allah. 6, 24, look, how they lie against themselves, but the, lie, which they invented will disappear from them. 6, 25, and of them there are some who listen to you, but we have set veils on their hearts, so they understand it not, and deafness in their ears, if they see every one of the ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc. They will not believe therein. To the point that when they come to you to argue with you, the disbelievers say, these are nothing but tales of the men of old. 6, 26, and they prevent others from him, from following Prophet Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasalam, and they themselves keep away from him, and, by doing so, they destroy not but their own selves, yet they perceive, it, not. 6, 27, if you could but see when they will be held over the, hell, fire, they will say, would that we were but sent back, to the world, then we would not deny the ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, revelations, etc., of our Lord, and we would be of the believers. 6, 28, nay, it has become manifest to them what they had been concealing before, but if they were returned, to the world, they would certainly revert to that which they were forbidden. And indeed they are liars. 6, 29, and they said, There is no other life, but our present life of this world, and never shall we be resurrected on the day of resurrection. 6, 30, if you could but see when they will be held, brought and made to stand, in front of their Lord, he will say, Is not this resurrection and the taking of the accounts, the truth. They will say, Yes, by our Lord. He will then say, So taste you the torment because you used not to believe. 6, 31. They indeed are losers who denied their meeting with Allah, until all of a sudden, the hour, signs of death, is on them, and they say, Alas for us that we gave no thought to it, while they will bear their burdens on their backs, and evil indeed are the burdens that they will bear. 6, 32 and the life of this world is nothing but play and amusement. But far better is the house in the hereafter for those who are al mutakan the pious, cv 2-2, will you not then understand? 6, 33, we know indeed the grief which their words cause you, O Muhammad shalallahu alaihi wasalam. It is not you that they deny, but it is the verses, the Quran, of Allah that the Zalimun, polytheists and wrongdoers, deny. 6, 34, Verily, many, messengers were denied before you, O Muhammad shalallahu alaihi wasalam. 
but with patience they bore the denial, and they were hurt, till our help reached them, and none can alter the words, decisions, of Allah. Surely there has reached you the information, news, about the messengers, before you. 6. 35. If their aversion, from you, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam and from that with which you have been sent, is hard on you, and you cannot be patient from their harm to you. THN if you were able to seek a tunnel in the ground or a ladder to the sky, so that you may bring him a sign, and you cannot do it, so be patient. And had Allah willed, he could have gathered him together, all, unto true guidance, so be not you one of those who are Al-Jahilan, the ignorant. 6. 36. It is only those who listen, to the message of Prophet Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, will respond, benefit from it, but as for the dead, disbelievers, Allah will raise them up, then to him they will be returned, for their recompense. 6. 37. And they said, Why is not a sign sent down to him from his Lord? Say, Allah is certainly able to send down a sign, but most of them know not. 6. 38. There is not a moving, living, creature on earth, nor a bird that flies with its two wings, but are communities like you. We have neglected nothing in the book, then unto their Lord they, all, shall be gathered. 6. 39. Those who reject our ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., are deaf and dumb in darkness. Allah sends astray whom he wills and he guides on the straight path whom he wills. 6. 40. Say, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, tell me if Allah's torment comes upon you, or the hour comes upon you, would you then call upon anyone other than Allah? Reply, if you are truthful. 6. 41. Nay, to him alone you call, and, if he will, he would remove that distress for which you call upon him, and you forget at that time whatever partners you joined with him, in worship. 6. 42. Verily, we sent, messengers, to many nations before you, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, and we seized them with extreme poverty, or loss in wealth, and loss in health with calamities so that they might believe with humility. 6. 43. When our torment reached them, why then did they not believe with humility? But their hearts became hardened, and Shaitan, Satan, made fair seeming to them that which they used to do. 6. 44. So, when they forgot, the warning, with which they had been reminded, we opened to them the gates of every, pleasant, thing, until in the midst of their enjoyment in that which they were given, all of a sudden, we took them to punishment, and lo! they were plunged into destruction with deep regrets and sorrows. 6. 45. So the roots of the people who did wrong were cut off. And all the praises and thanks be to Allah, the Lord of the, Alameen, mankind, jinns, and all that exists. 6. 46. Say, to the disbelievers, tell me, if Allah took away your hearing and your sight, and sealed up your hearts, who is there? An Elah, a God, other than Allah who could restore them to you. See how variously we explain the ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc. Yet they turn aside. 6. 47. Say, tell me, if the punishment of Allah comes to you suddenly, during the night, or openly, during the day, will any be destroyed except the Zalimun, polytheists and wrongdoing people? 6. 48. And we send not the messengers but as givers of glad tidings and as warners. So whosoever believes and does righteous good deeds, upon such shall come no fear, nor shall they grieve. 6. 49. But those who reject our ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., the torment will touch them for their disbelief, and for their belying the message of Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam. Tafsir al kurtubi 6. 50. Say, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam. I don't tell you that with me are the treasures of Allah, nor, that, I know the unseen. Nor I tell you that I am an angel. I but follow what is revealed to me by inspiration. Say, are the blind and the one who sees equal. 
will you not then take thought? 6. 51. And warn therewith, the Quran. Those who fear that they will be gathered before their Lord, when there will be neither a protector nor an intercessor for them besides him, so that they may fear Allah and keep their duty to him, by abstaining from committing sins and by doing all kinds of good deeds which he has ordained. 6. 52. And turn not away those who invoke their Lord, morning and afternoon seeking his face. You are accountable for them in nothing, and they are accountable for you in nothing, that you may turn them away, and thus become of the Zalimun, unjust. 6. 53. Thus we have tried some of them with others, that they might say, Is it these, poor believers, that Allah has favored from amongst us? Does not Allah know best those who are grateful? 6. 54. When those who believe in our ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., come to you, say, Salaman, Alaikum, peace be on you. Your Lord has written mercy for himself, so that, if any of you does evil in ignorance, and thereafter repents and does righteous good deeds, by obeying Allah, then surely, he is oft forgiving, most merciful. 6. 55. And thus do we explain the ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., in detail, that the way of the mudrimun, criminals, polytheists, sinners, may become manifest. 6. 56. Say, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam. I have been forbidden to worship those whom you invoke, worship, besides Allah. Say, I will not follow your vain desires. If I did, I would go astray, and I would not be one of the rightly guided. 6. 57. Say, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam. I am on clear proof from my Lord, Islamic monotheism. But you deny, the truth that has come to me from Allah. I have not gotten what you are asking for impatiently. The torment, the decision is only for Allah. He declares the truth, and he is the best of judges. 6. 58. Say, if I had that which you are asking for impatiently, the torment, the matter would have been settled at once between me and you, but Allah knows best the Zalimun, polytheists and wrongdoers, etc. 6. 59. And with him are the keys of the game. All that is hidden, none knows them but he. And he knows whatever there is in, or on, the earth and in the sea. Not a leaf falls, but he knows it. There is not a grain in the darkness of the earth nor anything fresh or dry, but is written in a clear record. 6. 60. It is he, who takes your souls by night, when you are asleep, and has knowledge of all that you have done by day, then he raises, wakes, you up again that a term appointed, your life period, be fulfilled, then in the end unto him will be your return. Then he will inform you what you used to do. 6. 61. He is the irresistible, supreme over his slaves, and he sends guardians, angels guarding and writing all of one's good and bad deeds, over you, until when death approaches one of you, our messengers, angel of death and his assistants, take his soul, and they never neglect their duty. 6. 62. Then they are returned to Allah, their Maula, true master, God, the just Lord, to reward them. Surely, his is the judgment and he is the swiftest in taking account. 6. 63. Say, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, who rescues you from the darkness of the land and the sea, dangers like storms, when you call upon him in humility and in secret, saying, If he, Allah, only saves us from this, danger, we shall truly be grateful. 6. 64. Say, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, Allah rescues you from it and from all, other, distresses, and yet you worship others besides Allah. 6. 65. Say, He has power to send torment on you from above or from under your feet, or to cover you with confusion in party strife, and make you to taste the violence of one another. See how variously we explain the ayat, proofs, evidences, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., so that they may understand. 6. 66. But your people, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, have denied it, 
the Quran, though it is the truth, say, I am not responsible for your affairs. 6. 67. For every news there is a fact, i.e. for everything there is an appointed term. And it is also said that for every deed there is a recompense, and you will come to know. 6. 68. And when you, Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, see those who engage in a false conversation about our verses, of the Quran, by mocking at him, stay away from them till they turn to another topic. And if shaitan, Satan, causes you to forget, then after the remembrance sit not you in the company of those people who are the zalimun, polytheists and wrongdoers, etc. 6. 69. Those who fear Allah, keep their duty to him and avoid evil are not responsible for them, the disbelievers, in any case, but, their duty, is to remind them, that they may avoid that, mockery at the Quran, the order of this verse was cancelled, abrogated, by the verse. 6. 70. And leave alone those who take their religion as play and amusement, and are deceived by the life of this world. But remind, them, with it, the Quran, lest a person be given up to destruction for that which he has earned, when he will find for himself no protector or intercessor besides Allah, and even if he offers every ransom, it will not be accepted from him. Such are they who are given up to destruction because of that which they have earned. For them will be a drink of boiling water and a painful torment because they used to disbelieve. 6. 71. Say, O Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, shall we invoke others besides Allah, false deities, that can do us neither good nor harm, and shall we turn on our heels after Allah has guided us, to true monotheism? Like one whom the shayatan, devils, have made to go astray, confused, wandering, through the earth, his companions calling him to guidance, saying, Come to us. Say, Verily, Allah's guidance is the only guidance, and we have been commanded to submit, ourselves, to the Lord of the, Alameen, mankind, jinns and all that exists. 6. 72. And to perform as Salat, a Karmat as Salat, and to be obedient to Allah and fear him, and it is he to whom you shall be gathered. 6. 73. It is he who has created the heavens and the earth in truth, and on the day, i.e. the day of resurrection, he will say, Be, and it shall become. His word is the truth. His will be the dominion on the day when the trumpet will be blown. All knower of the unseen and the seen. He is the all-wise, well aware, of all things. 6. 74. And, remember, when Ibrahim, Abraham, said to his father Azar, Do you take idols as Aliha, gods? Verily, I see you and your people in manifest error. 6. 75. Thus did we show Ibrahim, Abraham, the kingdom of the heavens and the earth that he be one of those who have faith with certainty. 6. 76. When the night covered him over with darkness he saw a star. He said, This is my Lord. But when it set, he said, I like not those that set. 6. 77. When he shalallahu alaihi wasallam the moon rising up, he said, This is my Lord. But when it set, he said, Unless my Lord guides me, I shall surely be among the erring people. 6. 78. When he shalallahu alaihi wasallam the sun rising up, he said, This is my Lord. This is greater. But when it set, he said, O oh my people, I am indeed free from all that you join as partners in worship with Allah. 6. 79. Verily, I have turned my face towards him who has created the heavens and the earth Hanifa, Islamic monotheism, i.e. worshipping none but Allah alone, and I am not of al-Mushrikun, cv. 6. 80. His people disputed with him. He said, Do you dispute with me concerning Allah while he has guided me? and I fear not those whom you associate with Allah in worship. Nothing can happen to me, except when my Lord, Allah, wills something. My Lord comprehends in his knowledge all things. Will you not then remember? 6. 81. And how should I fear those whom you associate in worship with Allah, though they can neither benefit nor harm? While you fear not that you have joined in worship with Allah things for which he has not sent down to you any authority. So, 
which of the two parties has more right to be in security? If you but know. 6. 82. It is those who believe, in the oneness of Allah and worship none but him alone, and confuse not their belief with Zalm, wrong i.e. by worshipping others besides Allah, for them, only, there is security and they are the guided. 6. 83. And that was our proof which we gave Ibrahim, Abraham, against his people. We raise whom we will in degrees, certainly your Lord is all-wise, all-knowing. 6. 84. And we bestowed upon him a shark, Isaac, and Jacob, Jacob, each of them we guided, and before him, we guided Nu, Noah, and among his progeny Dawood, David, Solomon, Solomon, Ayub, Job, Yusuf, Joseph, Musa, Moses, and Harun, Aaron, thus do we reward the good doers. 6. 85, and Zachariah, Zachariah, and Yahya, John, and, Yesa, Jesus, and Elias, Elias, each one of them was of the righteous. 6. 86, and Ismi, Ishmael, and Al-Yasa, Elisha, and Eunice, Jonah, and Lot, Lot, and each one of them we preferred above the, Alameen, mankind and jinns, of their times. 6. 87, and also some of their fathers and their progeny and their brethren, we chose them, and we guided them to a straight path. 6. 88, this is the guidance of Allah with which he guides whomsoever he will of his slaves. But if they had joined in worship others with Allah, all that they used to do would have been of no benefit to them. 6. 89. They are those whom we gave the book, al hukem understanding of the religious laws, and prophethood. But if these disbelieve therein, the book, al hukem and prophethood, then, indeed we have entrusted it to a people such as the companions of Prophet Muhammad Shalallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who are not disbelievers therein. 6. 90. They are those whom Allah had guided. So follow the guidance. Say, no reward I ask of you for this. The Quran, it is only a reminder for the, Alameen, mankind and jinns. 6. 91. They, the Jews, Quraysh pagans, idolaters, etc did not estimate Allah with an estimation due to him when they said, nothing did Allah send down to any human being, by inspiration. Say, O Muhammad Shalallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who then sent down the book which Musa, Moses, brought, a light and a guidance to mankind which you, the Jews, have made into, separate, paper sheets, disclosing, some of it, and concealing, much. And you, believers in Allah and his messenger Muhammad shallallahu alaihi wasallam, were taught, through the Quran, that which neither you nor your fathers knew. Say, Allah, sent it down, then leave them to play in their vain discussions. Tafsir al kurtubi Volume 7, Page 6, 92, and this, the Quran, is a blessed book which we have sent down, confirming, the revelations, which came before it, so that you may warn the mother of towns, i.e. Mecca, and all those around it. Those who believe in the hereafter believe in, the Quran, and they are constant in guarding their Salat, prayers. 6. 93. And who can be more unjust than he who invents a lie against Allah, or says, I have received inspiration, whereas he is not inspired in anything. And who says, I will reveal the like of what Allah has revealed. And if you could but see when the Zalimun, polytheists and wrongdoers, etc., are in the agonies of death, while the angels are stretching forth their hands, saying, Deliver your souls. This day you shall be recompensed with the torment of degradation because of what you used to utter against Allah other than the truth. And you used to reject his ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., with disrespect. 6. 94. And truly you have come unto us alone, without wealth, companions or anything else. As we created you the first time, you have left behind you all that which we had bestowed on you. We see not with you your intercessors whom you claim to be partners with Allah. Now all relations between you and them have been cut off, and all that you used to claim has vanished from you. 6. 95. Verily. 
It is Allah who causes the seed grain and the fruit stone, like date stone, etc., to split and sprout. He brings forth the living from the dead, and it is He who brings forth the dead from the living. Such is Allah, then how are you deluded away from the truth? 6. 96. He is the cleaver of the daybreak. He has appointed the night for resting, and the sun and the moon for reckoning. Such is the massing of the Almighty, the All Knowing. 6. 97. It is He who has set the stars for you, so that you may guide your course with their help through the darkness of the land and the sea. We have, indeed, explained in detail our ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., for people who know. 6. 98. It is He who has created you from a single person, Adam, and has given you a place of residing, on the earth or in your mother's wombs, and a place of storage, in the earth, in your graves, or in your father's loins. Indeed, we have explained in detail our revelations, this Quran, for people who understand. 6. 99. It is He who sends down water, rain, from the sky, and with it we bring forth vegetation of all kinds, and out of it we bring forth green stalks, from which we bring forth thick clustered grain. And out of the date palm and its spathe come forth clusters of dates hanging low and near, and gardens of grapes, olives and pomegranates, each similar, in kind, yet different, in variety and taste. Look at their fruits when they begin to bear, and the ripeness thereof. Verily, in these things there are signs for people who believe. 6. 100. Yet, they join the jinns as partners in worship with Allah, though He has created them, the jinns, and they attribute falsely without knowledge sons and daughters to Him. Be He glorified and exalted above, all, that they attribute to Him. 6. 101. He is the originator of the heavens and the earth. How can He have children when He has no wife? He created all things and He is the all-knower of everything. 6. 102. Such is Allah, your Lord. La ilaha illa hua. None has the right to be worshipped, but He, the creator of all things. So worship Him, alone, and He is the wakil, trustee, disposer of affairs, guardian, etc., over all things. 6. 103. No vision can grasp Him, but His grasp is over all vision. He is the most subtle and courteous, well acquainted with all things. 6. 104. Verily, proofs have come to you from your Lord, so whosoever sees, will do so for the good of his own self, and whosoever blinds himself, will do so to his own harm, and I, Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, am not a watcher over you. 6. 105. Thus we explain variously the verses so that they, the disbelievers, may say, You have studied the books of the people of the scripture and brought this Quran from that, and that we may make the matter clear for the people who have knowledge. 6. 106. Follow what has been inspired to you, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, from your Lord, La Alaha Illa Hua, none has the right to be worshipped, but he, and turn aside from Al Mushrikun. 6. 107. Had Allah willed, they would not have taken others besides him in worship. And we have not made you a watcher over them nor are you set over them to dispose of their affairs. 6. 108. And insult not those whom they, disbelievers, worship besides Allah, lest they insult Allah wrongfully without knowledge. Thus we have made fair seeming to each people its own doings. Then to their Lord is their return, and he shall then inform them of all that they used to do. 6. 109. And they swear their strongest oaths by Allah, that if there came to them a sign, they would surely believe therein. Say, signs are but with Allah and what will make you, Muslims, perceive that, even, if it, the sign, came, they will not believe. 6. 110. And we shall turn their hearts and their eyes away from guidance, as they refuse to believe therein for the first time, and we shall leave them in their trespass to wander blindly. 6. 111. And even if we had sent down unto them angels, and the dead had spoken unto them, and we had gathered together all things before their very eyes, they would not have believed, unless Allah willed, 
but most of them behave ignorantly. 6. 112. And so we have appointed for every prophet enemies, shayatan, devils, among mankind and jinns, inspiring one another with adorned speech as a delusion, or by way of deception. If your Lord had so willed, they would not have done it, so leave them alone with their fabrications. Tafsir Kurtubi, Volume 7, Page 6, 113, and this is in order, that the hearts of those who disbelieve in the hereafter may incline to such deceit, and that they may remain pleased with it, and that they may commit what they are committing, all kinds of sins and evil deeds, etc. 6, 114, say, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, shall I seek a judge other than Allah while it is he who has sent down unto you the book, the Quran, explained in detail. Those unto whom we gave the scripture, the Torah, Torah, and the Injil, Gospel, know that it is revealed from your Lord in truth. So be not you of those who doubt. 6. 115. And the word of your Lord has been fulfilled in truth and in justice. None can change his words. And he is the all-hearer, the all-knower. 6. 116. And if you obey most of those on earth, they will mislead you far away from Allah's path. They follow nothing but conjectures, and they do nothing but lie. 6. 117. Verily, your Lord. It is he who knows best who strays from his way, and he knows best the rightly guided ones. 6. 118. So eat of that meat, on which Allah's name has been pronounced, while slaughtering the animal. If you are believers in his ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc. 6. 119. And why should you not eat of that meat, on which Allah's name has been pronounced, at the time of slaughtering the animal, while he has explained to you in detail what is forbidden to you, except under compulsion of necessity, and surely many do lead, mankind, astray by their own desires through lack of knowledge. Certainly your Lord knows best the transgressors. 6. 120. Leave, O mankind, all kinds of, sin, open and secret. Verily, those who commit sin will get due recompense for that which they used to commit. 6. 121. Eat not, O believers, of that, meat, on which Allah's name has not been pronounced, at the time of the slaughtering of the animal, for sure it is fiscu, a sin and disobedience of Allah. And certainly, the shayatan, devils, do inspire their friends, from mankind, to dispute with you, and if you obey them, by making al matata a dead animal, legal by eating it, then you would indeed be mushrikun, polytheists, because they, devils and their friends, made lawful to you to eat that which Allah has made unlawful to eat and you obeyed them by considering it lawful to eat, and by doing so you worshipped them, and to worship others besides Allah is polytheism. 6. 122. Is he who was dead, without faith by ignorance and disbelief, and we gave him life, by knowledge and faith, and set for him a light, of belief, whereby he can walk amongst men, like him who is in the darkness, of disbelief, polytheism and hypocrisy, from which he can never come out. Thus it is made fair seeming to the disbelievers that which they used to do. 6. 123. And thus we have set up in every town great ones of its wicked people to plot therein. But they plot not except against their own selves, and they perceive, it, not. 6. 124. And when there comes to them a sign, from Allah, they say, We shall not believe until we receive the like of that which the messengers of Allah had received. Allah knows best with whom to place his message. Humiliation and disgrace from Allah and a severe torment will overtake the criminals, polytheists, sinners, etc., for that which they used to plot. 6. 125. And whomsoever Allah wills to guide, he opens his breast to Islam, and whomsoever he wills to send astray, he makes his breast closed and constricted, as if he is climbing up to the sky. Thus Allah puts the wrath on those who believe not. 6. 126. And this is the path of your Lord, the Quran and Islam, leading straight.
we have detailed our revelations for a people who take heed. 6. 127. For them will be the home of peace, paradise, with their Lord. And he will be their wali, helper and protector, because of what they used to do. 6. 128. And on the day when he will gather them, all, together, and say, O you assembly of jinns, many did you mislead of men, and their aulia, friends and helpers, etc. Amongst men will say, Our Lord, we benefited one from the other, but now we have reached our appointed term which you did appoint for us. He will say, The fire be your dwelling place, you will dwell therein forever, except as Allah may will. Certainly your Lord is all-wise, all-knowing. 6. 129. And thus we do make the Zalimun, polytheists and wrongdoers, etc. Aulia, supporters and helpers, one to another, in committing crimes etc. Because of that which they used to earn. 6. 130. O you assembly of jinns and mankind! Did not there come to you messengers from amongst you? reciting unto you my verses and warning you of the meeting of this day of yours. They will say, We bear witness against ourselves. It was the life of this world that deceived them. And they will bear witness against themselves that they were disbelievers. 6. 131. This is because your Lord would not destroy the populations of towns for their wrongdoing, i.e. associating others in worship along with Allah, while their people were unaware so the messengers were sent. 6. 132. For all there will be degrees, or ranks, according to what they did. And your Lord is not unaware of what they do. 6. 133. And your Lord is rich, free of all wants, full of mercy, if he will, he can destroy you, and in your place make whom he will as your successors, as he raised you from the seed of other people. 6. 134. Surely, that which you are promised will verily come to pass, and you cannot escape from the punishment of Allah. 6. 135. Say, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, O my people, work according to your way, surely, I too am working in my way, and you will come to know for which of us will be the happy end in the hereafter. Certainly the Zalimun, polytheists and wrongdoers, etc., will not be successful. 6. 136. And they assign to Allah a share of the tilth and cattle which he has created, and they say, This is for Allah according to their pretending, and this is for our, Allah's so-called, partners. But the share of the, Allah's so-called, partners, reaches not Allah, while the share of Allah reaches their, Allah's so-called, partners, evil is the way they judge. 6. 137. And so to many of the mushrikun, polytheists, cv 2 to 105, the, Allah's so-called, partners, have made fair seeming the killing of their children, in order to lead him to their own destruction and cause confusion in their religion. And if Allah had willed they would not have done so. So leave them alone with their fabrications. 6. 138. And according to their pretending, they say that such and such cattle and crops are forbidden, and none should eat of them except those whom we allow. And, they say, there are cattle forbidden to be used for burden or any other work, and cattle on which, at slaughtering, the name of Allah is not pronounced. Lying against him, Allah, he will recompense them for what they used to fabricate. 6. 139. And they say, what is in the bellies of such and such cattle, milk or fetus, is for our males alone, and forbidden to our females, girls and women. But if it is born dead, then all have shares therein. He will punish them for their attribution, of such false orders to Allah. Verily, he is all-wise, all-knower. Tafsir at Tabari, Volume 8, Page. 6. 140. Indeed lost are they who have killed their children, from folly, without knowledge, and have forbidden that which Allah has provided for them, inventing a lie against Allah. They have indeed gone astray and were not guided. 6. 141. And it is he who produces gardens trellised and untrellised, and date palms, and crops of different shape and taste, its fruits and its seeds, and olives, and pomegranates, similar, in kind, and different, 
in taste, eat of their fruit when they ripen, but pay the due thereof, its zakat, according to Allah's orders one tenth or one twentieth, on the day of its harvest, and waste not by extravagance. Verily, he likes not al Musrifun, those who waste by extravagance. 6. 142. And of the cattle, asim, for burden, like camels, etc., and summer, small, unable to carry burden like sheep, goats, etc., for food, meat, milk, wool, etc. Eat of what Allah has provided for you, and follow not the footsteps of Shaitan, Satan. Surely he is to you an open enemy. 6. 143. 8 pairs. Of the sheep too, male and female, and of the goats too, male and female. Say, has he forbidden the two males or the two females, or, the young, which the wombs of the two females enclose? Inform me with knowledge if you are truthful. 6. 144. And of the camels too, male and female, and of oxen too, male and female. Say, has he forbidden the two males or the two females or, the young, which the wombs of the two females enclose? Or were you present when Allah ordered you such a thing? Then who does more wrong than one who invents a lie against Allah, to lead mankind astray without knowledge? Certainly Allah guides not the people who are Zalimun polytheists and wrongdoers, etc. 6. 145. Say, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, I find not in that which has been inspired to me anything forbidden to be eaten by one who wishes to eat it, unless it be matata, a dead animal, or blood poured forth, by slaughtering or the like, or the flesh of swine, pork, etc. For that surely is impure, or impious, unlawful, meat, of an animal, which is slaughtered as a sacrifice for others than Allah, or has been slaughtered for idols, etc., or on which Allah's name has not been mentioned while slaughtering, but whosoever is forced by necessity without willful disobedience, nor transgressing due limits, for him, certainly, your Lord is oft forgiving, most merciful. 6. 146. And unto those who are Jews, we forbade every animal, with undivided hoof, and we forbade them the fat of the ox and the sheep except what adheres to their backs or their entrails, or is mixed up with a bone. Thus we recompensed them for their rebellion, committing crimes like murdering the prophets, eating of reba, usury, etc., and verily, we are truthful. 6. 147. If they, Jews, belie you, Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, say you, your Lord is the owner of vast mercy, and never will his wrath be turned back from the people who are mudrimun, criminals, polytheists, sinners, etc. 6. 148. Those who took partners, in worship, with Allah will say, If Allah had willed, we would not have taken partners, in worship, with him, nor would our fathers, and we would not have forbidden anything, against his will, likewise belied those who were before them, they argued falsely with Allah's messengers, till they tasted of our wrath. Say, have you any knowledge, proof, that you can produce before us? Verily, you follow nothing but guess and you do nothing but lie. 6. 149. Say, with Allah is the perfect proof and argument, i.e. the oneness of Allah, the sending of his messengers and his holy books, etc. to mankind. Had he so willed, he would indeed have guided you all. 6. 150. Say, bring forward your witnesses, who can testify that Allah has forbidden this. Then if they testify, testify not you, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, with them. And you should not follow the vain desires of such as treat our ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., as falsehoods, and such as believe not in the hereafter, and they hold others as equal, in worship, with their Lord. 6. 151. Say, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, come, I will recite what your Lord has prohibited you from. Join not anything in worship with him. Be good and dutiful to your parents. Kill not your children because of poverty. We provide sustenance for you and for them. Come not near to al-Fawahish, shameful sins, illegal sexual intercourse, 
etc. Whether committed openly or secretly, and kill not anyone whom Allah has forbidden, except for a just cause, according to Islamic law. This he has commanded you that you may understand. 6. 152. And come not near to the orphan's property, except to improve it, until he, or she, attains he age of full strength, and give full measure and full weight with justice. We burden not any person, but that which he can bear. And whenever you give your word, i.e. judge between men or give evidence, etc., say the truth even if a near relative is concerned, and fulfill the covenant of Allah, this he commands you, that you may remember. 6. 153. And verily, this, i.e. Allah's commandments mentioned in the above two verses 151 and 152, is my straight path, so follow it, and follow not, other, paths, for they will separate you away from his path. This he has ordained for you that you may become al mutakan the pious, cv. 6, 154. Then, we gave Musa, Moses, the book, the Torah, Torah, to complete, our favor, upon those who would do right, and explaining all things in detail and a guidance and a mercy that they might believe in the meeting with their Lord. 6, 155. And this is a blessed book, the Quran, which we have sent down. So follow it and fear Allah, i.e. do not disobey his orders, that you may receive mercy, i.e. saved from the torment of hell. 6, 156. Lest you, pagan Arabs, should say, the book was only sent down to two sects before us, the Jews and the Christians, and for our part, we were in fact unaware of what they studied. 6. 157. Or lest you, pagan Arabs, should say, if only the book had been sent down to us, we would surely have been better guided than they, Jews and Christians. So now has come unto you a clear proof, the Quran, from your Lord, and a guidance and a mercy, who then does more wrong than one who rejects the ayat, proofs, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, etc., of Allah and turns away therefrom. We shall requite those who turn away from our ayat with an evil torment, because of their turning away, from them. Tafsir at Tabari, Volume 8, Page 6, 158. Do they then wait for anything other than that the angels should come to them, or that your Lord should come, or that some of the signs of your Lord should come, i.e. portents of the hour e.g., arising of the sun from the west, the day that some of the signs of your Lord do come, no good will it do to a person to believe then, if he believed not before, nor earned good, by performing deeds of righteousness, through his faith. Say, wait you. We, too, are waiting. 6. 159. Verily, those who divide their religion and break up into sects, all kinds of religious sects, you, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, have no concern in them in the least. Their affair is only with Allah, who then will tell them what they used to do. 6. 160. Whoever brings a good deed, Islamic monotheism and deeds of obedience to Allah and his messenger Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, shall have ten times the like thereof to his credit, and whoever brings an evil deed, polytheism, disbelief, hypocrisy, and deeds of disobedience to Allah and his messenger Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, shall have only the recompense of the like thereof, and they will not be wronged. 6. 161. Say, O Muhammad Shalalahu Alaihi Wasalam, truly, my Lord has guided me to a straight path, a right religion, the religion of Ibrahim, Abraham, Hanifa, i.e. the true Islamic monotheism, to believe in one God, Allah i.e. to worship none but Allah, alone, and he was not of al-Mushrikun, cv. 6, 162, say, O Muhammad saw, verily, my salat, prayer, my sacrifice, my living, and my dying are for Allah, the Lord of the, Alameen, mankind, jinns and all that exists. 6, 163, and your Elah, God, is one Elah, God, Allah, La ilaha illa hua, there is none who has the right to be worshipped, but he, the most beneficent, the most merciful. 6, 164, 
verily, in the creation of the heavens and the earth, and in the alternation of night and day, and the ships which sail through the sea with that which is of use to mankind, and the water, rain, which Allah sends down from the sky and makes the earth alive therewith after its death, and the moving, living, creatures of all kinds that he has scattered therein, and in the veering of winds and clouds which are held between the sky and the earth, are indeed ayat, proofs, evidences, signs, etc., for people of understanding. 6. 165. And of mankind are some who take, for worship, others besides Allah as rivals, to Allah, they love them as they love Allah. But those who believe, love Allah more, than anything else, if only, those who do wrong could see, when they will see the torment, that all power belongs to Allah and that Allah is severe in punishment.